Hello, welcome back. In the last couple of videos, we have discussed how to create different kinds of scenario to uh, to to simulate a, a, a real life workload. And we have gone through different manual scenarios. And finally, we talked about goal oriented scenario. So let's discuss something something more interesting here. So let's say uh, you are the administrator of this uh, website that uh, module and uh, what you want to what you want to say that you want to give your you have to promise your customer certain things that whenever a customer is going to access the home page he will get that home page in less than two second okay and this is what we call a service level agreement this is a one type of service level agreement is that average response time is less than two second there are certain other kinds of SLA that you can give okay so let's consider that this is the one that you want to uh, you, you want to achieve okay so there are two kinds of questions okay so so there are two kinds of question one kind of question is that at what v user load your response time is less than two second and this can be done by using goal oriented scenario as we discussed in the last video the second question is that let's say you run 200 users okay can you tell me how many times I am violating the SLA that I promised okay and my SLA is average response time should be less than two second okay how to answer this question that is the goal of this video in this video we are going to less we are going to look how using load runner controller we can answer the question that how many times we violated the um, so how many times we violated the SLA that we promised to, to do that you go to the service level agreement here you create a new SLA and you will see a SLA uh, window pop up and this is where you define okay and go to next so this is what you are saying is that what is the measurement goal the measurement goal here is transactions response time and there are two kinds of response time can be percentile on average don't worry if you do not know what is a percentile transaction response time we are going to explain you in detail in the next chapter called analysis analyzing results all right but time being you just choose average response time so your average response time is the goal the SLA goal all right and then next and here you are saying that which for which transaction you want to give the guarantee that SLA goal to be matched let's say we we choose T1 why T1 because that is what we have given here in the start transaction T1 and end, end transaction T1 okay so in our script we have given that one as a transaction name all right and select transaction and you can have multiple transactions but here in the in in, in, in this uh, toy example I'm just talking talking about one transaction do next and here what is the loading criteria like on what condition you want to check that transaction t1 is you know is more or less than whatever the time that you want to mention right and the loading criteria here can be different things like throughput of the server hits per second to the server or transaction per second or whatever but here like you know, what I'm going to I'm going to choose the V user that means I'm saying that you run say so let's say you run with four V user okay run with four v user and with with four v user tell me if you are meeting the transaction response time or not okay and in next thing i'm going to exp i'm going to give the the time that what i'm expecting that my sla here is that when i'm i'm running less than four virtual user i want to achieve a transaction response time of less than two seconds when i'm going to run more than four user I want to achieve a transaction response time let's say three second not more than that so that means if I run four user and I get 10 transaction that is response time of 2.1 then that means I have 10 SLA failure if I run with 20 users and I have 10 transaction which is more than three second then I have I have 10 SLA failure okay that is what is the mean, meaning of this thing okay and apply to transactions and do next and do finish so now you see you have a SLA based on transaction response time 
you can add more SLS based on throughput or whatever and whatever okay now when you run this run this test okay so let's run this test and after you running the test when you see the result which I have already done okay so which I've already done once so I'm going to directly go to see, show you the result so this is the result and in the result I give the summary and with that summary I also see the, the SLA status and this is the service level agreement report and SLA report I am seeing that most of my transactions are failing are uh, the red one or the, the the response time is le is 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 more than whatever I defined here the response time should be only in two cases like this one and this one I meet my my SLA so essentially SLA is another way to so so, so essentially what I'm showing here is that SLA is another way to know if, if you are able to serve the, the, the load or if you are able to meet our uh, expected uh, criteria. Right. So I hope you understand these two kind of questions and these are the kind of basically these are the two kind of questions which motivate us to do performance testing.